welcome to my Atlantis background. This chair keeps rotating. So you can actually be seated and throughout the class, you can rotate your position however you want. And so let's begin with the sound of three ohms. If you choose to join in or to listen. Om. Om. Sahana Bhavatu as well, mantra of protection. Om Sahana Bhavatu. Sahana Bhunatu. Sahaviryam Karabhavahe. Tejas vina vadita mastu ma om sahana bhavatu sahana Bunartu Sahaviriam Karavahe Tejas Vina Vadita Mastu. Ma vid vishavahe Om Sahana Bhavatu Sahana Bunartu Sahaviryam Karavavahe Tejas Vina Vadita Mastu Mavid Vishavahe Om Shanti, 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 peace, peace, and again, peace. Uh, as this Sanskrit word pranayama indicates, we're applying yamas or controls, influences, practices upon the breath or prana which is translated as breath, is also translated as life force energy. And so in today's restorative, we're going to actually do continue working more with the breath. And so you can find yourself seated or you could also alternate your position. And the concept, the theme for today's work is langhana. So when we inhale, we have brahmana, just receiving breath, receiving that energy that flows through and inward. And you can try that. And then pausing at the top of your inhale. And exhale, langhana, sending out. And so 
one way to practice sh shodana or clearing is to work with langana practices. And you can involve micro movements if you want, such as circumduction of the wrists or some light spinal movements, flexion of the neck. But just begin to notice the quality of your breath. It's probably a little bit introverted if you were practicing the mantras. You could notice the sinuses, if they're clear, if they're playing along, or if they're blocked. Now, if you can gradually just begin to take stock of perhaps how long the duration of your inhales might be and how long the direction, the duration of the exhales are at the moment. And so maybe you find yourself inhaling one, two, three, four, and then exhaling one, two, three, four. Or maybe it's a little faster or a little slower than that, it's okay. And let's begin to see if we can bring the duration of the exhale a little bit longer, say 30% longer than the inhales. So for instance, one, two, and then exhaling one, two, three, four, five, six, and inhaling one, two, exhaling one, two, three, four, five, six. just getting into that pattern <clears throat> it's all right if you want to make it a little bit more exaggerated than you might normally do and as you get into that long kind of pattern emphasizing the exhale just notice the effects of the pranayam. And see if you can feel yourself introverting into your still and quiet center within. Rooting down from the tailbone and the base of the spine as if you could grow roots from that point down into the soil of the earth.
noticing what happens as the tide of the breath ebbs and flows with the inhale and the exhale, the possible cleansing effect that is available when we allow clearing, allow emphasis on the release of breath for this time being. On the shorter inhale, go ahead and notice where you find the inhalation to be directed, perhaps it's to the belly or to the ribs or the low, the upper chest. Maybe you can do two parts of the three part breath of Jai Pranayam, just inhale to the belly and the ribs and then exhale. And then maybe pause at the top of the second part of your inhalation. Feel that purifying effect of the Agni or digestive flame. And then exhale. See how long you can comfortably hold Maybe elongate the spine, try to tuck the chin down. And exhale. A little bit of breath retention. Tuck the chin, squeeze the navel into the spine and then release. Go ahead and release the pranayam, release the efforting on the breath. Maybe do some light shaking of the hands, the wrists, the elbows. You don't want to spend too many minutes on the same pranayama. You'll build up any stress necessarily from that repeated efforting. You can shake out the shoulders. Just sort of jiggle everything around. And let the prana circulate from the lungs and the spine into and around the upper body. I'm gonna do a little bit with Ujjayi Pranayama again. It's the three part breath or the complete breath. And you can bring turn the fingertips out to the side if you want an inhale for sun breath. Inhale, sweeping up to fill up the low back and the belly with air and then exhale. Sweeping the arms down, tracking the descent of the arms with the breath so that the fingertips brush the earth at the very bottom of the exhale. And as the fingertips graze the floor, the inhale begins yet again, an endless cycle of breath, circulation of prana. Prana yama. And at the top of the inhale, arcing back down. Allowing the arms to follow the breath. Fingertips tap the earth. The inhale begins from the belly into the ribs. And coming back down. Oxygenating all the cells and tissues of the ribs. Continuing that pattern from the belly to the ribs all the way up to the top of the chest as the fingertips come together. And exhale down. 
tracking the movement with the progress of your exhale, whatever that speed is for you. Inhale, belly, ribs, and chest. And exhale down. Inhaling up through the belly, ribs, and chest. And exhale, tracking the movement as you exhale down. Bottom of the exhale, hold, engage the root lock, Mula Bandha, and squeeze the pelvic floor, squeeze the belly button to the navel, to the back of the spine, and gaze down, breath retention, and then inhale to lift back up, exhale down. And as the fingertips graze the floor, can engage the pelvic floor, navel to the spine, and gaze the chin down. To come back into your flow. And exhale, can bring the arms, wrapping one elbow over the other to a soft hug. Begin to notice actually 60% of the volume of the lung tissue in the back of the, on the back body actually. And so you can breathe into the top back corners of the lungs. And then the bottom of the posterior lungs, sort of down by the kidneys. And if you want, you can take eagle arm wrap. Go ahead and switch your elbows, whichever elbow is underneath in whatever shape you're doing. I'm actually applying a little bit of Ujjayi Pranayam just so you can audibly hear the exhalation. And if you choose to do that as well, it can be really nice. Just washing over all of those meridian points, all of the energy centers, particularly up and down the back body. You can release the hands position, release the pranayam. Maybe take a few spinal circles. If you're seated. And allow that oxygenated blood, all the really well oxygenated fluids to circulate through the psoas muscle and the hip joints. Of course, the brain is already really well oxygenated now. Make sure to take both directions. This practice can be really good if you're preparing to get some things done, perhaps some writing. Could also be really good before resting, before bedtime, perhaps as well.
So finally, we'll go into constructive rest pose. So go ahead and find your surface if you have one where you can lie down on supai on your back. Go ahead and place a blanket if you would like under the small curvatures of the spine. And allow the feet to remain flat on the earth with the soles of the feet flat and the knees pointing up towards the sky. You might choose to have an eye pillow, little weighted mask. Uh, you might also want a little bit of cushion under the neck, under, under the head. Um, some people even like to put a blanket over themselves for a little bit of weight. And we'll go with Deskachar Pranayam. Deskachar was an um, Indian yoga master who really emphasized the pranic aspect of the spine. Whereas sometimes the chakras or energy centers are viewed with much more focus on the front body, such as the, the heart chakra living right here in front of the sternum and the solar plexus right at the rib cage and so forth. He was also really interested in the posterior placement of those energy centers. So on the atlas bone, that bumpy point on the back of the heart or on the sacral bone, the six vertebrae that are fused together at the base of the spine or at the occipital ridge at the base of the skull. And so you can have the next few rounds of breath to connect to some of these bony landmarks of the spine. Breathing in, filling up the bowl of the occipital ridge in the back of the skull. And sending a few nice complete rounds of breath through and into the posterior third eye, the occiput. There's no need to force the slowness or quickness of the breathing pattern, but always extra credit, I guess, for depth. Depth of breathing is always really wonderful. Just visualizing the points, the specific places, and really sending that oxygenated blood and just the energy to that point, freeing things up more and more. Next, we can travel to the atlas bone, which is a bumpy point behind the neck, I guess, actually. Just allowing all of the surroundings, um, if you have any background music or other ambient sounds to aid you in this journey of relaxation and centering and grounding. And the next point we're interested in is the sacral bone. 
which is the very base of the spine right before the tailbone, six spinal vertebrae all fused together into a little rectangular plate, the sacral chakra. Really, you can visualize and palpate or touch or send breath to any point, but we're focusing on these points specifically for the energy centers that could be very grounding. So you can even work with the tailbone now. Just extending your tail, your invisible um, jaguar tail, perhaps for extending from the tailbone. nurturing the wild animal spirits within ourselves. Just connecting to these points, allowing energy to flow freely through them, unlocking them for the rest of the day, anchoring in that fluidity and ease of movement for 2021. Next, you could connect to the kneecaps, the patella, which in Chinese medicine, can be associated with um, <clears throat> with with survival or with basic um, instincts. So just washing from that point all the fascia around the kneecap and the kneecap itself, which is actually floating in other fabrics of ligaments and, and empty space actually. Lastly, sending some breaths down to the soles of the feet, rooting down from the feet, growing the tendrils of roots, cleansing, dusting off any debris, so to speak, from the soles of the feet. Now that the prana or breath or energy is flowing more freely throughout this energetic system it can be a lot more accessible to work with the soles of the feet, connecting the circuit from soles of the feet all the way up to crown of the head. Just washing, cleansing, balancing that shadana effect.
So now you could lift the arms up over the head, resting them on the earth behind you. And filling up the torso and the front body like a balloon can hold. Inhale and hold, 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 and release. A couple more times. Inhale, filling all the way up. Hold on to the inhale here, holding, holding, and release. One last time, filling up all the way like a water balloon. Holding, holding, holding a little bit more, and release. And now with no more effort being needed, the mind can be free to unhook itself from the breath, can wander a little bit more. As we enter just a couple minutes of Shavasana rest integration, you can let everything go, you can let all your props go. You can be laying on your back or on your belly even if you choose, or on your side. And just expressing gratitude for the lungs, the respiratory system, and the ability to expend energy and immediately take it back in in a never ending circuit, a current that's always available. I'm just reconnecting to that this morning, cleansing, washing, exhaling, purifying. Re rebooting that system for our new year 2021. So on the next inhale, allowing yourself to return gently to the body and to the extremities, the fingertips, the tips of the toes. And when you're ready without any rush, rolling through to your side up to seated. And we'll close with 10 affirmations, affirmations of the solar plexus chakra our energy center you can choose to listen to them and allow them to wash through you with the hands in any mudra that you choose you can also repeat them by voicing them you could anchor them in for yourself for a new year i honor the power within me and i honor myself i honor the power within me and i honor myself I honor the power within me and I honor myself. 
I accomplish tasks easily and effortlessly. I accomplish tasks easily and effortlessly. I accomplish tasks easily and effortlessly. The fire within me burns through all blocks and fears. The fire within me burns through all blocks and fears. The fire within me burns through all blocks and fears. I can do everything that I desire. I can do everything that I desire. I can do everything that I desire. I stand in my power. I stand in my power. I stand in my power. I am strong. I am strong. I am strong. I release judgment of others and of myself. I release judgment of others and of myself. I release judgment of others and of myself. I am manifesting easily and gracefully. I am manifesting easily and gracefully. I am manifesting easily and gracefully. I'm worthy of love, kindness, and respect. I'm worthy of love, kindness, and respect. I'm worthy of love, kindness, and respect. I am the embodiment of inner peace and confidence. I am the embodiment of inner peace and confidence. I am the embodiment of inner peace and confidence. And so regardless of whether or not you chose to repeat these statements aloud or if you allow them to wash through you in listening it's possible that you could allow these powerful affirmations to flow in and through your being, even the ones that felt more accessible or less accessible or none of the above or neutral. Anchoring in positive affirmations into the day, building up the digestive flame through our breath retention and promoting the easeful and fluid circulation of energies of life force energy, breath and prana throughout all of our energetic and physical bodies. And so we can close today's restorative class with Om Namo Guru Dev Namo, I bow to the teacher within, the teacher that lives within the heart center. So the light within me bows to the light within you now. Om Namo Guru Dev Namo Shanti 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 Peace, peace, and again, peace. Thank you for joining me today in this wonderful yoga practice. And may the benefits continue flowering for you and all of these wonderful manifestations circulating through and into the rest of your day. Take care until next time. Namaste.